hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel again and uh, this time also we'll talk about flutter so this is for one and welcome to mtech viral so guys um in this video we'll talk about uh, something which is very important and uh, you you must have seen this in uh, i guess uh, in most of the application and that is splash screen so having a beautiful splash screen is something which is very uh, important and which makes an impact and also uh, you can find it in almost every application and uh, I am making tutorials on those things which can be used in real life I don't want to uh, make videos on such stuff which uh, which is needed but again you don't uh, you are not going to use that in um, anywhere in future so um, that is what we I want to avoid and I want to uh, make videos on only uh, those things which are uh, again which can be helpful for your real world applications and uh, today we will talk about splash screen how we can design that in Florida and uh, also that is a part of my uh, new ongoing project which is flood cart and it flood cart is an online shopping uh, application which i'm making and it will take time so i what i will i am doing is like um, i am dividing it like i will uh, make a tutorial splash screen then the walkthrough screen the home screen and similarly we will continue with that as as long as our development will go on and that is also like i am making that uh, uh, the e-commerce application in such a way that it can be divided into parts and uh, again every video is free every tutorial is free so if you want to get all the access to all of my repository you can go to github and here you can see to my repository we have this uh, flood cart repo this flutter walkthrough which i just recently uploaded updated the video will be up available maybe tomorrow and then we have this flutter example apps here we it, it has got uh, more than 100 star in less than 10 days it is just a one week um before earlier i updated it and here you have a lot of uh, example apps with the source code and also with the youtube link uh, most of these uh, links have youtube link and uh, you can watch the tutorial and it will be keep I, I will keep updating this project for sure so here you will get all the data i'll also um try to add some details uh, with this uh, source code so you can check them out and let's just uh, click one of them and here you can see it has this flutter whatsapp clone and if you click on the youtube icon then it will open the uh, video for you to watch how to implement this okay so that is and everything is free again and on facebook you can uh, join this uh, group which i created which is this let's flutter group and i'll i'll pull the, the, the a link in the description for both of these things and you can upload from the uh, um, you know, we can join from there or you can give the start to this wrapper and also you can fork it if you want so this is all about uh, what what is going on these days now let me just show you what we are going to develop so this is our uh, this is this application is this is the splash screen we are going to develop if you find it interesting then it's okay otherwise it's also fine if you don't find it interesting this uh, okay and now if you can see there is a walkthrough screen I have made the tutorial on this i have made how to create this package so that video will be available soon and now let's create our splash screen okay so let's create uh, our first project so sorry again i'm repeating the process word uh, flutter one second flutter flood card okay and now okay it is saying to go let's go to mobile okay so we have this uh, thing ready now let's uh, make the uh, splash screen so let's go to lib here we'll open main.dart we have some boilerplate code now we don't want this boilerplate code right so we will just delete this okay now we will uh, we, what we will do we will make a main method and we will create this okay now we will import this uh, library which we can say import material okay one second material dot dot okay 
now we need this splash skin we can delete this route we don't need it as of now now let's make this splash screen also so what we will do we will make a stateful widget here and we can name it splash screen the source code is already available on github on my floodcut repository it can be a little different but uh, you will get the idea out of it let me just uh, change the font a little bit so that uh, nobody can complain about it so let's make it 26 i guess that is more than sufficient i don't know you you are the judges you can tell me okay so this is what we have this uh, this is returning a new container so let, or rather than container let's make it a scaffold first of all okay let's open the this thing here okay in this scaffold what we will have we will have a body because we don't want to have any kind of app bar in this splash screen so in the body uh, we will take it as a stack and one more thing I am changing it to dart 2 okay so we are dealing with dart 2 now so let's remove all this new keyword we don't need it anymore and because I tried dart 2 this time and it is working very fine so let's uh, say in the body we have a stack first of all a stack is used for having uh, uh, more than one widget on the top of itself so uh, this is done and we will give it a fit first of all and we can say if it would be stack fit dot expand now it will take it will ask for me for children and now first children would be a container let's say uh, which will be having a color so you can have a container okay here we can say uh, it takes a field as decoration here we can say box decoration maybe okay it will ask me for border and everything i will just choose color here so i can say color and here i can say colors dot uh, red accent okay we will also test it okay so you don't have to worry about it so let's rush, just run this application also so that you get a better idea whether it is working fine or not uh, so that you cannot blame me <laughs> that is one thing okay so uh, this is the container first first widget is the container which will be on the bottom of the stack now what will be on the top of this container so we will write the code for that but just before that we want to see what it will display to us okay so it is displaying anything yeah it has this uh, red accent screen you can change it if you want we can say a blue accent okay it's totally your choice we will experiment with that later now uh, below this container we will have a column uh, which will be on the top of this container actually because we are using stack it takes a children so uh, we also before doing the children we can also give it a main axis alignment and that main axis alignment would be from the uh, start okay that is fine now in the uh, children let's first have an expanded widget okay what expanded do it will take a flex for us so we can say here flex we will give it a flex of two so that it can cover the area of like uh, two times and uh, then we can have a child here where we can have again a container okay in this container again for the child what we are going to do we are going to take a column again okay I know it can be weird sometimes to use the same thing again and again but this is what we need to do now we will take its center so we can say main axis alignment is main axis alignment dot center now below that we will have a children of widgets and here we can say uh, first thing we want to take is a circle avatar so we will have a circle avatar and uh, this circle avatar is in the center you can see on the right hand side uh, here it, it has a circle this looks actually very cool right uh, doing something and it is reflecting there so now we will give it a background color which we can say colors dot white okay it became white it is kind of you know this gives me a feel of real development and this is actually which i love about flutter 
now let's give it a radius and let's increase the radius by 50 okay this looks super cool man and now we will give it a child which will be an icon and here we can uh, specify an icon so I can say icons dot uh, let's say shopping cart okay and that will give me an icon now let's uh, give it a color as well so let's give it a color of uh, green accent maybe now let's give it a uh, uh, size as well so size would be 50 and it looks good okay so we are done with this part now out of this circle avatar what we will do now we will give a little bit padding so we can use padding okay here we can give padding so padding would be uh, as inset start only okay and uh, just from the top let's give it, give it a padding of 10.0 okay so it will work and now uh, below this padding let's have a text also so we can have a text and in the text what first of all we will have a, a name of uh, this text so our text field so we can say here flood card okay now let's give it a some kind of style because it is looking very weird as of now so we can say a text a style okay and now we can give it a color which will be like colors dot white okay and now uh, let's give it a font size as well so let's uh, make it a font size of 24 maybe it will be good yeah and now let's make it bold as well so we can say font weight dot bold okay that looks amazing okay so we are done with this in the center now uh, let's uh, go back to over this expanded one and below this we want another widget which will be another expanded okay and now it will take a flex of one which means it takes the area of uh, uh, this is one times and then the upper area is two times so you can see this is how this much area is gonna take this uh, where you are uh, uh, seeing this error this much area and this is also the beauty of flutter it gives you exactly the uh, a, uh, the error in that area which is causing the error so here we can take a column as a child again and uh, it will have something which is like uh, the main axis alignment and it will again will be in the center then again we will have a children's so we are using multiple children that is why I used it now here we will use a circular progress indicator so it will look nice then after this what we can use we can use um, a padding maybe and here we can give it a padding of let's say from our top okay so we can say only and then we can say top and let's give it a padding of uh, 20 maybe okay it looks good <clears throat> why it is showing me the error i don't know uh, we did we miss something it looks good to me till now maybe we missed something no no yes it's all right i guess right so okay let's continue with this so we gave it a padding now let's uh, add a text here as well so the text word will be uh, what was the text earlier let me just see in here uh, online store for everyone okay so let's go back to our app okay so here we can write online store for or we can go to next line for everyone okay this is looking good okay now here we can have a style as well so we can say text style and here we can have a color so we will say colors dot white okay now we will have a font size as well 
so let's give it a font size of 18 and again the weight would be something which we need to give so we can also give it a weight which is font weight dot bold dot bold and now it will look fine I guess um, we need to close it as well right okay so here we have this uh, stuff ready now we don't need anything apart from this so let's just uh, close this and just uh, rebuild this application and then we will see whether we have the desired output or not and we will also experiment with it so we have done all the things and here you can see what we got we got nothing oh my god what's happening man so what we will do we will just uh, delete this uh, application because this is a problem happening with me since I have updated my flutter so sometimes the app does not reflect so that is some problem I guess uh, it will be fixed in future updates because I am working with the master branch so there can be uh, similar issues so let me just rebuild the app and now it yeah you can see online store for everyone we have this uh, little uh, circular indicator on the bottom let's change its color and let's try something rather than red accent you can try anything you want let's say uh, we can try green accent it looks good every color will look good uh, for similar kind of splash screens and you can see everything is looking good and now we can test this orange and it is looking good as well so every color is uh, working fine I guess here and we are <laughs> we are using red accent let's make it red rather okay so this looks good now I'm just taking a screen no the red accent was good okay I'm just taking a screenshot out of it so that I can show you in later so this is guys now one more thing is left we want to uh, um, it to be like for just to show it for five seconds or three seconds so how we can do that right if you want your splash screen to uh, show it just for a few seconds so here in our uh, this create uh, this uh, stateful widget and um, below this uh, this uh, this splash screen state class we will uh, call this init state method we will override it and below this super dot init state we will use a timer so this uh, the, the timer uh, using timer is very easy again in flutter you need to import this timer you need to import this library i guess or it works i don't know um i guess it uh, comes with the async library let me just i'm not sure though let's just uh, okay so let's just import the async library by uh, yourself so we can say dart async and now it will give me the timer okay that is fine now what it takes okay it will take a duration so you need to specify the duration and now you can give it in seconds so let's say you want to give it in just five seconds okay and now after five seconds you want to perform something so you can perform it here and maybe you can say uh, after five seconds you can do anything okay so uh, you can move to another activity or another screen or let's just print something so uh, splash done let's say okay this is what we, we, we are going to print okay now we will go back to our debug console we will delete everything we will stop this app and now we will run this again but uh, we need to you know close this I don't know why it is not closing by itself again it is uh, some kind of issue with flutter uh, with the latest uh, build so I guess they will fix it sooner or later so let's run this application for the last time and we will see what output we get and uh, in the debug console we should get this splash done after five seconds okay it is showing uh, and 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 now one two three four five and you can see here is splash done okay so after five seconds this splash screen has done its work and you can do anything you want 
so that's the thing about splash screen guys you can find the code on this repository uh, here are the flutter example apps i will update it the repository there are a lot of repositories you have this flood card repository you have this facebook group you can join if you enjoyed this video then uh, turn that uh, gray icon to blue by liking this video you can also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber for such amazing flutter videos and also don't forget to share the video if you found it uh, useful so that's it guys i'll join in in the next video and thanks for joining me right here and i'll see you later, bye bye, take care and have fun with Flutter.